This free CBT is brought to you by I want to know it.com. All right, what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you guys how to configure a Cisco Access server. Um, this is common in your, your lab where you want to uh, connect to multiple devices, routers, or switches. Um, and you hate playing around with the console cable, moving it from router to router to switch to switch. Um, this here will allow you to connect to multiple devices with one session um, using a reverse tail net. Uh, the cable use uh, looks, it has a serial connector on one end uh, with eight RJ45 connectors on the other end which will be used to connect to various devices through the console ports. Alright, so without further ado, uh, first thing we want to do here is change this mission. Let's call it X to server underscore for. Okay, now for this to work, what we're going to do, we're going to have to create an IP host table. Um, think of this as like a, a host file on a Windows workstation. So we got IP host, the name, that we associate with whichever device we're connecting to, and the port. Also, you'll see later, I will create a loopback interface. Um, and that's what that address is that I just put in there. Switch. Let's call it APC. Um, before we exit out, we completed the IP host table. Before we exit out, let's go ahead and create that uh, loop back interface. Let's turn it on IP address. Let's do that too. Let's oh, that address. Alright, let's take a look at our running config. Just take a look at everything. Make sure everything looks okay. Alright. Everything looks fine with our host table. What we're going to do, what I'm going to show you here, um, and I, I want to make a note of this. When you go out there and search on the web and you look for how to configure an access server, a lot of times it's the, the information stops right there but we are not able to take a look we're not able to connect to our router because there's still an additional step that we have to take but like I said a lot of times you don't you don't get any further than what we just did here let's take a look at the lines right now just to see if anything is being used and if you see there one TTY1 is being used right now. So let's go ahead and clear. Clear line TTY1. Confirm. That's going to give us problems when we try to connect. Also, let's show the session. And we'll see later. Um, that'll show us the different connections that we have open. All right. So, let's get to this last and final step here. We have to configure the lines. 1 through 16. And we're going to tell the transport input telling it, because that's the protocol we're going to be using. Alright. So, now let's try route 1. We got a connection open, and router one has come up. So to get back to our access server, we're going to do a Control Shift Six, 
All together, control shift, six, and then X. Okay, let's try the next one, router two. Router two, it's not working with us right now. Let's find out what's wrong with router two. All right, seeing that it's refused. So let's show line. As we can see there, two is active. So that's clear. We clear two. We also clear three. And I think that should be it. Let's do a show line again. Looks like two. It's a little stubborn. Okay. Remember, it won't work if, the, if those lines are occupied. So, router two. There we are. All our error messages. Our friendly router two. Control shift X to get back. Check out router three. Router 3 is opening. Control shift 6x. Let's try router 4. No problems with router 4. And skip the switch APC. Right there. Now, let's do a show session. There we are. We have all our connections established. Um, anytime I want to go to any, say I want to go to router two, hit number two, connects me to router two. If I want to go to the, now we can do show session again. And if you notice, the asterisk move. The asterisk is just basically telling us which connection was the last connection we had open. Like I can hit enter. I'm hitting the enter button right now, and it kicks me back to router two. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful. And uh, again, brought to you by I want to know IT.com. Thank you.